Hi, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you a nice little hip workout that will last five to 10 minutes for you to do at home. So we're going to be doing four exercises. They, based on your fitness levels and based on where you're at, it was last five to 10 minutes. Uh, the main thing is you'll do two to six rounds. That's just based on your own sort of um, level. One thing to remember is that you want to be considering if you have any pain or injury during these exercises, I'd advise that you either stop that exercise and move on to the next, or just stop the workout completely. Push through as hard as you can as always, so you get the full maximum benefit of the workout. And I'm going to now show you here what these exercises are. So we're going to be working 30 seconds and resting 15 seconds, okay? so. The first exercise is the mountain climbers. Very nice conventional mountain climbers. This is where you can, you'll be on your, arm, on your arm hands and you're going to be running as fast as you can. Trying to ensure that your legs are staying high and then basically trying to engage your core as you're rowing, running. It's very important that you don't rock over with your back just so you don't get any back pain. The next one is you're going to get up, is you're going to do side squat slips. So that's where you're going to be slipping underneath, making a nice huge shape. And the key is, if you want to make it more harder, go nice and low. Go low and fast. Like so. If it's just that you don't feel like you can go low, just squatting sideways will do. The next one, you'll jump straight into push-ups. Remember, 30 seconds working, 15 seconds rest. Straight into kneeling, standing, or lying down push-ups, whatever your level. So the key is doing as many as you can, making sure that your shoulders are down and you are pushing through your palms. Again, you can do kneeling, fall, or lying. Then the final one is sliders. This will help with overall sort of core activation and good balance. So the key is on your knees, and you're going to be kicking the leg through, kicking the leg through. And you're going to be going as fast as you can, 30 seconds. The key is to make sure that you go slow and build your pace as you go along. So as you can see, and then you can start building up your pace. So remember 30 seconds, 15 seconds rest. It should last 5 to 10 minutes. Remember for any injuries or pains that you may experience to stop and adjust the exercise or even add one in that you might like enjoying yourself. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me here at any time.